Hey guys, so this video is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm going to just be doing over time. Um, that is kind of an educational type of video about steam engines, cool stuff about them, how they work, and so forth. Um, it's just, I feel like it's fitting, this type of thing is fitting for my channel since it's all about building my steam engine. Um, now a lot of you guys already do model steam engine building and you probably know a lot of this but I'm guessing some don't so this is for those that don't and this video is just a simple how does a steam engine work and it's actually quite a simple machine I think so I have a little diagram here so let's zoom in so what we're looking at here is um, this is a cross section of just a, a cylinder just an engine cylinder this part that's shaded is the piston and the piston rod and all of the cross hatched lines or the hatched lines are just solid metal right so um, this part right here that's the cylinder board and the piston rides in it um, now what you'll notice is there's a passageway on the top and the bottom of the cylinder board and essentially all a steam engine does is it has some kind of mechanism attached here and we'll get into that in a second that admits steam to the top and the bottom and um, now there's a lot of different designs but this is the simplest one all right so essentially how it works first it'll it'll steam will come in from the top and push down on the sill on the piston the piston will then get pushed down and all the ex excess steam in here will be pushed out this passageway. This passageway is attached to exhaust and this one's attached to steam. So it pushes it down and then squeezes out the exhaust here. Now when it gets to the bottom, the mechanism attached to here is going to reverse and um, it's going to be the opposite. Now the top will be attached to exhaust and the bottom will be attached to steam steam will then push the bottom of the piston upwards and all the exhaust steam on the top of the piston will then get squeezed out the top hole and it kind of just goes back and forth and that's that's kind of how it works right so the heart of the of the steam engine is in this piece on the side the piece that actually controls the steam flow okay so now we're taking it one step further and we're going to actually talk about the mechanism that does the uh, admission of steam to the top and bottom of the cylinders. Now there's two um, main ways in which this is done. The first way and way that's most common on model steam engines is the slide valve. Um, so if you notice there's a little passageway in the middle of these two um, steam ports here. Uh, this guy right here, this kind of comes out to the of the board say we have a pipe attached to that right here so that is going to be our source of steam we're going to send steam into that pipe and it's going to go in here and come out this way now if you look on the other end of that passageway um, we're getting into this and this is called the valve body or that's what I like to call it um, and we have this 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 part here is called the slide valve and it's essentially just kind of a it's a just a flat valve and it has a channel and this channel is this right here and you can see that this steam is going to go into this channel here go up and then on the top go to the top of the piston and push it down now at the same time you can see that at the bottom of the piston we're going to push the exhaust out the bottom and on the outside of the slide valve it's going to go, this is just a rod so we can go around it, it's going to go out and this is the exhaust uh, out here. As the engine turns, this valve will move downward until it switched down, to, until it moves and switches position. Essentially it's going to do the same thing except now the steam is going to go this way through this channel which is now down here and put steam down here and essentially this this C type of valve just goes up and down and it uh, administers steam to the top and the bottom. Now this is what's called uh, inside, inside steam admission. 
Um, like, let me see if I can. Yeah. Inside is what I'm saying. And that means that the steam is inside of the valve. Now, this is typically not the way it's done for slide valves. Um, typically, what happens is you have outside, so outside admission, and that means that the steam is coming in through here, and the exhaust is going out through here, and, and it works the same way. And the reason why you want to do outside for slide valves is because the steam pressure will actually push the valve, this valve, up against the face here, and it actually seals better. Um, and they always say slide valves wear in, meaning they, they seal as they wear because the steam pressure is always pushing the valve against the face of the cylinder. So it's sealing it. Um, so that's kind of, that's the slide valve and you, the both inside and outside admission. So just to explain this a little bit more thoroughly, I drew a couple quick sketches down here. Um, this C thing is the slide valve. Um, and in this first position here, let me zoom in a little bit. In this first position, um, steam is on the, we're going to do outside admission. So steam is coming in on the outside of the slide valve and it's going to go on the bottom down here. And um, at the same time, the piston is going to push the exhaust through here and then out the exhaust port. So this is steam and this is exhaust. And then as the engine moves, this C is going to move downward until it gets to here and now it's going to switch. The steam is just going to go into this top one. It's going to, the piston is going to push the exhaust out the bottom and then it's going to go out the exhaust, exhaust steam. So you can see that it just moves up and down and it just switches top and bottom where it goes. So the slide valve here is typically used in a steam engine that uses what's known as wet steam or steam that is still in a mixture state, meaning uh, it's, there's water vapor in it. It's not hot enough to make it a pure gas. When you use wet steam, the temperatures and pressures are much less and um, the slide valve was kind of made for that. As soon as they started using what's called superheated steam, and I'll have a, another video about the differences between the two types of steam. Um, uh, then this slide valve doesn't really work very well. Superheated steam is essentially you heat the water up so much that there is zero percent liquid in it. There's, there's an, it's it's purely gas. And when when that happens, what the temperatures and pressures relationship that's that's in the uh, mixture state changes and you can get extremely high pressures and extremely high temperatures. The two, both of those things cause the slide valve to fail. But the big thing is uh, at these extremely high pressures this slide valve is pushing very very hard against this face and um, that causes a big problem because um, you one you can't get oil in there very well right it's pushing so hard on it you just can't get it in very well and because of that because of the lack of oil and the the force in which it's pushing on the wall it actually starts to just dig as it's moving and will and will just wear it away and wear away that face um, so there's a point where there's it's too much pressure too much heat too much pressure this will not work for a um, superheated steam engine. What will work is the next thing we're going to talk about which is the piston valve. So this is the piston valve setup and nothing is really drawn to scale. This is kind of humongous compared to this but forget about that. Um, basically um, you, can, you can see that it looks pretty familiar. There's this same sort of uh, U-shaped passageway here and you can see that if we have inside steam admission, it's going to go through this passageway and it's going to go to the top and the piston is going to push exhaust at the bottom it's going to go out this passageway here. Um, and it works the same way and then as it moves down, it's going to flip, the steam's going to go the other way and then the exhaust is going to go out this 
exhaust passageway here, and uh, it's the it's pretty much the same operating principle. Principle. Um, the reason why this is better for superheated steam is because, um, and usually actually, usually with piston valves it's the opposite. You use inside admission, and the reason for that is when you have inside admission, this right this valve here is just kind of a spool valve, right? So when the steam comes in, it can sort of swirl around this valve and, you know, it can, it's free to move anywhere between these two flint top parts because this is kind of sealed away um, in the cylinder. So because of that, um, the, 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 the steam pressure is going to exert a force on downward on the valve over this cross-sectional area and it will also exert the same force on upward on the valve over this cross-sectional area because the force of pressure, um, F is equal to pressure times area, and um, get rid of that because we're on the inside now. So it's the same area on the top and bottom, it's just the forces cancel each other out. So there's no sort of, it doesn't have this issue of having uh, steam pressure forcing it onto something. Uh, it kind of equalizes, and uh, you'll have some pressure loss here, and, and it'll, it'll, it's not exactly equal, but it's, it's at least not smashing up against the, um, the a port face, and any unequal pressures are, are going to be up and down, not side to side against any sort of wear material. So this is what you typically use with superheated steam for that reason, and um, it typically uses inside admission. Um, and uh, that's, again, the operating principle is exactly the same. If you just look at this part here, this C channel, um, it's the same sort of thing, except now it's just between, this, it's just between these two uh, top parts of the valve. But it moves up and down and redirects steam in the exact same way. So we're going to do a really quick, crappy drawing of uh, showing the uh, principles. And this left one, we're going to have steam coming here. It's going to go through here onto the top. And again, it can also go around and out the top because uh, this is kind of a spool. And uh, the piston is going to push out the bottom, push the steam out this way, and there'll be an exhaust port. There's an exhaust port here. Um, and then as it moves down, now, okay. Well, as it moves down, it's going to switch. The steam will go here. Uh, so this is steam, this is exhaust. And then the piston is going to push the exhaust out this way. And it will go out the exhaust port. Exhaust, steam. So that's kind of the basic principle of how a steam engine works. Uh, it's important to mention that in both, in both slide and piston valve, um, both the uh, piston and the valve are timed on the crankshaft. They need to be timed precisely such that as it rotates this moves in the right positions and emits the steam. Um, and that's what one thing that's nice about this is if everything's timed correctly you just spin you just spin the engine over a little bit and it just takes off. It just goes by itself. Um, so that's kind of how the, this whole thing works. Um, this is again this is kind of my first video into the educational type of thing for steam engines. Uh, let me know how you liked it, what you would like to know about in steam engines, or anything like that. Um, I'm hoping this goes over well. This was kind of fun. So we'll talk about, whole, there's a whole bunch of other things I have in mind to talk about. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.